Welcome to Regensburg, Bavaria's most medieval city. With timeless architecture and amazing food, let me show you around this jewel of the Danube. Founded by Romans, frozen in its medieval heyday and located only an hour and a half away from Munich, Regensburg is a city that I do not see nearly enough when I give itinerary consultations. Sign up for a consultation and link below if you're interested. Yet it's one of my favorite recommendations to make. So join along and together let's have a classic near from home day trip as we explore millennia old walls, Tuscan inspired towers, a gorgeous shipping river, and maybe most importantly, get some of the best German food I've ever had. There is so much to accomplish here, and with only one day to do it, I must admit, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. So I'm going to start the way I always do when entering into a new city. I'm going to go on a damn good walk. Regensburg is incredibly pedestrian friendly. Few cities come to my mind that have such a commitment to kicking cars out. I love it. Cities, the streets, they should be for the people and not the unnecessarily and highly inefficient parking of other people's private property. If you don't mind me saying so myself, I'd much rather a cafe than a parking lot. I'm already seeing so much varied architecture. It's really cool. Maybe we should start out chronologically by going to the Roman wall. Unfortunately, walking along the eastern section of the Roman fortification does lead you next to a major road. However, it is still just incredibly stunning to see a medieval wall with a medieval tower merging and blending with a Roman wall. There's not just cement between these bricks, there are millennia. But how about we get back into the pedestrian zone? It's a little noisy out here. Here is the Porta Pretoria, the north and main gate into Castra Regina, the Roman fort that founded what we now know of as Regensburg. Dating back almost 2,000 years, this is one of only two preserved Roman gates north of the Alps. And what I find most surprising about it is how low-key it is. How many people would just be able to walk by and not think much of it? But I think this is astounding. To come here to Regensburg and not see the Roman architecture, That'd be a shame. Though as much as I love the Roman history, it wasn't until the medieval period that Regensburg hit its golden age. And eagle-eyed viewers out there, well, you might have been able to notice some of the telltale signs. I'll give you a hint. It's the towers. If you were with me last year in San Gimignano, you know all about how the Tuscans flaunted their wealth with patrician towers. Very tall, very empty, all for showing off. Please go watch the Italy series if you haven't already. It did not get the love it deserved. Regensburg, connected by strong and influential trade routes, was inspired by those Italians to flaunt their wealth in the exact same way. About 20 still stand to this day of the original medieval 60. And no other city north of the Alps has so many. All of that, plus being founded by the Romans, it is not hard to imagine why people started calling Regensburg Italy's most northern city. Though of course not all of the city can be Roman or medieval, a lot of it is very typically Bavarian, and what it will usually mean is plenty of colored buildings and beautiful murals. If you look really closely at this mural in particular, it might start off looking Bavarian, but that is a medieval tower it's been plastered on top of. Very cool. It's all about those little details. 
My favorite thing about this Altstadt is just getting lost in the jitties. This is the kind of city where you need to throw away Google Maps or a paper map if you still use those and just get lost. Go left, go right, go anywhere you can. It'll always be beautiful. I will say you don't need to know your history to have an amazing time here, but I would recommend it because once you can start picking apart all of those details, the buildings practically speak to you. And of course, checking off another box from our architecture bingo card is the very cool, very gothic looking St. Peter's Cathedral. But you already know what I'm about to say next, right? Travel with your hobbies. I am not a huge cathedral guy. I've seen plenty. I'm sure I will see more. So on a busy day like today, I have no fear of missing out by simply skipping it. And I don't think you should either. Do what you want. Nothing is a must. Also, they don't let you film inside anyway, so no harm, no foul. And you know I found a bronze map. This thing's awesome. I mean, Regensburg is a beautiful town. That's a beautiful map. I love trains. I hate cars. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Now that is an incredibly beautiful medieval building and balcony. Reminds me a lot of the one we saw in Freiburg in the Rathaus. That is an incredibly pretty balcony. It seems a little Tuscan to me. I was worried that I was belaboring the point a little bit going on and on about Italy's most northern city, but they're proving the point for me. You wanna go get something? Yeah. yeah. It's snack time. <laughs> My guess would be they're gonna be doing cannolis. I haven't seen Chuyatella outside of Naples. Do you wanna get one? Yes. They do look really good. Yeah, eine pistachio Chuyatella bitte. Yeah. Und auch ein Schokolade bitte. Danke dir. <laughs> Oh no, there is a very large crowd. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Let's resume filming in a second. This is actually not the first time I have eaten Shuyatella on camera, but it is the first time you'll ever see it. Last year, we did a whole Italy food series I didn't release the video because I didn't think it would really do very well. That series wasn't doing that well, so we switched back to doing German stuff. It kind of seems like the only thing we can film lately is German content. Everything else doesn't do so hot. If you want to see that video, if you like this, if you like the channel, maybe go give those Italian videos a watch. Tell me in the comments below if you actually want us to release our grand Italian food tour. Until then, this will have to do. That is just as hard to eat as I remember. Oh my God. Absolutely fantastic. I just love the uh, the crunchy shell. I'm not hungry in the slightest. I just saw the market, wanted a snack. One more bite. Sure you tell it is fantastic. Mm. I'm so glad they had it. And something else I'm incredibly glad to have, let's talk about this week's video sponsor, Lingoda, an online language learning school. Now, of course, I don't need to tell you that learning another language is an incredibly valuable skill, especially when you're traveling or living far from home. And something that I've been working on a lot lately and is documented in these videos themselves is just trying to be able to switch back and forth between the languages a little bit better, to be able to talk, think, and order in German while simultaneously switching and talking to you guys at home in English, which does not come naturally to me at all. It takes a lot of practice, and that's where Lingoda comes in. They have high quality educators all around the world offering the lessons you need at any hour of the day. Their flexibility is magic, and there is no way I would have stuck with them for so long if they weren't so flexible. Their curriculum follows the international SEPA standard, which is also important to me because I'll need to pass those exams if I want German 
German citizenship in the future, and they also offer group and one-on-one -on -one lessons too. So if you're in a bit of a social mood and want a bit of a gathering while you learn your German, or you want a private lesson where you drill down with a tutor, they have you covered. Now, if any of that sounds interesting to you, which it should, then go ahead and use the link on screen now. Use the code that we have as well to get 25% off your first two months, about 200 euros in value. It's incredible. And if you're still not sold, then don't worry. What I would recommend you do is they don't always have this on offer, but there is indeed a seven day free trial open right now. That's good for one private lesson or three group lessons. That way you can really test the service and see if it works for you. But I know that it will. At least it definitely works for me. Now, back to Regensburg. So a little behind the scenes for you. I love planning these shoots because I get to leave in a little surprise for Ben. He knows we're going to the Museum of Danube Shipping today, but what he doesn't know is the museum is just behind him on a boat. Hey, what? It's an incredibly beautiful vessel, and like everything I love, there is no one else here. Regensburg is so incredibly busy, but I think everyone skips the museum, which I think is such a shame, because this epitomizes why Regensburg is so wealthy. The river. The view from on deck is also absolutely wonderful. You get to see so many boats go by. Again, you get to just enjoy the splendor of this machine. But the museum itself, that's below deck. And so this museum itself is split into two sections. The incredibly echoey yet beautiful diorama chamber, ships through time, and then the engine. And this fact should be a surprise to no one if you watched my Bamberg video all about the Main Danau Canal, connecting the North Sea with the Black Sea, the Main and the Danube rivers. Pretty incredible stuff. And I could try to explain just how important that is, but this map says more than I ever could. Just look at how the two river basins of Europe are connected and imagine how much wealth and prosperity flows along with that water. Naturally though, if you've never heard of that canal before, then go watch my Bomberg video. After this one, of course. And for now, let's get into the metalwork. So spooky, right? Now for 50 cents, they unfortunately cannot activate the steam engine, but they can turn on some speakers that will make it sound like it's turned on. I really want to try. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I would never bring like a small child into this museum because they're not coming home. I technically didn't cross any ropes to get this close to the pistons. I don't know if that's my fault or theirs. This is really cool. Like, they really let you just kind of get on in here. I've never been in a piston room before. This is incredible. That was so much fun. I mean, I knew I was gonna love it, right? It is a boat. And if you're a fan of the channel, you'll also know what I'm about to say next. It was a small, local, specific museum. Nothing better than that. Something kind of weird though, is that that museum was so focused on the ships in the shipping industry that it never actually mentioned the cargo. However, that's something that this building right behind me has the answers to. This building was built for salt storage because that was the major cargo of the Danube. It would come from Salzburg, a place I've done a video on that needs no introduction, but more often from Bad Reichenhall, a place I really want to make a video on if you'd actually watch it. It's a bit of an unknown gem. Comment below if you're interested. But either way, so much salt was coming up the Danube River that they built this massive warehouse to hold it. 
The interior is practically empty, full of wooden beams, and they put so much salt in it that the wooden beams cracked and broke and had to be replaced with stone columns. That's just how much they were shipping. It is incredible. It's a beautiful building, and in a bit of a low-key way, subtly hints at the history of this river and this city. Though perhaps more famous and more popular than the salt storage facility is the restaurant next door, the Wurstkuche, a 500-year-old restaurant that's been serving the same fantastic sausages ever since. It used to be built on the old city walls that are now unfortunately demolished for a road, but either way, they use all local ingredients and it is one of the most popular spots in Regensburg. There's only one way to find out if it's any good though. Servus, ja, um, ein zu mitnehmen und dann auch kein Bier, bitte. Wurstkäppel mit allem. Ja, ja, danke. It looks so cool in there. I'm so excited. Soll ich die Bier aufmachen? Ja, bitte. Dann mach sie den neuen Sieg. Cool. Danke dir. Schönen Tag noch. Ah, schönen Tag noch. Let's go sit by the river. Couldn't really ask for a better view, huh? The Wurstkuche behind us, the bridge on the other side, the water below. Good lunch spot. I mean, this has all the trappings of a high quality experience. The restaurant itself being 500 years old, being used to feed the dock workers, the people who made this bridge, the people who made the cathedral. I mean, you just can't have a more Regensburgian restaurant than the Wurstkuche. They use local ingredients. They make the sauerkraut in their own keller right down there. The sausage is locally made and the zemf, the mustard sauce that they're putting together, that also is a secret recipe. So everything about this is so specific. There's only one way to find out how good all of those adjectives really are, right? Oh, there's a boat coming by. <laughs> Should I wait for the boat so I can see the boat and eat it? Just like looking at boats. What? Hmm. The sauerkraut is so tart, but not overly so. I mean, they do ferment it right here. And so you can't call something that's fermented fresh, but it is just so incredibly well balanced, you know? But uh, mustard and sauerkraut for you. Okay. It is a shame that you can't have a vegan one of these, but I suppose that wouldn't be 500 years old historically accurate. I mean, I must admit, I was rather worried. This is one of those trip advisory top location. Everyone and your mum knows to go here. And I'm a bit of a curmudgeon. This is incredible. Though we should also try the beer. I've had a couple sips already. What's cool about this is adding to the gourmet experience of it all. There's a local family brewery that make this beer. They bottle it specifically for the Wurstkuche. See how it goes. I will actually go so far as to say I don't love bottled beer in Germany. Drinking liters from the wooden barrels really spoils you. This is good. This is really good. You can tell that it was made locally. It's not skunky in the slightest. You can tell that they really care about the batches that they bottle because this tastes so good. This is probably the best Bavarian Hellas in a bottle I have ever had. Now I'm gonna finish this in peace and we'll get back to walking. All right, lunch over. I think it's about time we finally cross the bridge and get out into Regensburg's legendary nature spaces, the islands in the Danube. This is beautiful. A pedestrian only bridge, absolutely clogged with people having a good day that I had to walk through a tower to get to. I'm getting Prague's Charles Bridge vibes. I don't know which one I like more. This one's pretty good, guys. And obviously, I did a pretty fantastic video in Prague too. So if you're liking this one, you know what to watch next. One of, what, like 10 other videos I've recommended to you already? Maybe you should just like, comment, subscribe, and stick around. Okay, I was kind of bridge skeptical because TripAdvisor always says, this is the number one thing you've got to do, walk across the bridge. And I was like, how good is that going to be? But it's actually really awesome. It's just so gorgeous. I'm loving the pedestrian only aspect of it. Can't get enough of it. And from this angle, we can really see how massive that salt storage was. Told you, they were moving mad tonnage. A strong commitment to pedestrian-only infrastructure. This makes everybody happy. This was America, just because.
And just like that, in what, three minutes, crossing the bridge, circling around the corner, you're just out of the busy city and lost in nature along this glorious river. It's a beautiful city and a beautiful green space to have access to. And just everyone's out here having a great time. What could be better? And with just how well today is going, how beautiful Regensburg really is, I think I'd be willing to go all the way out on the limb here and say it is an underrated jewel of the Danube River, which is a pretty damn good collection of cities. Regensburg deserves to be up there with them all though. Absolutely brilliant. There's a car on there. <gasps> and a child's playhouse. Hell yeah. And though it really might not look like much, that confluence right there is what gives Regensburg its name. If you remember back to the Roman era, Castra Regina, castle on the Regen, and Regensburg means exactly the same thing to this very day. How cool is that? Talk about linguistic consistency. And as we stroll back around this absolutely beautiful bridge, before we head back into Regensburg, I should probably talk logistics. This is a near from home video after all. How should you get to this glorious city? Well, not by car, I'll tell you that. There are two options to me that seem like the perfect way to travel around. The train, as always, and bicycle, which has been incredibly popular today. Since this is such a major city, connecting here to Munich was an absolute dream this morning. It only took about an hour and 24 minutes. However, because it is a big city, you could get to Regensburg from almost anywhere. Not to mention, this place is so pedestrian friendly. Even if you did come here by car, you'd need to drop it outside the city limits and go on a big walk anyway. So honestly, I see almost no point. So make sure you grab your rail pass before coming to Regensburg. Now, as we cross this glorious bridge back into beautiful Regensburg, I think it's about time we bring this video to an end. Our train leaves in about an hour and a half. I do have my real job to do tomorrow morning. And so go ahead and give us a subscribe. If you've liked this video half as much as I've enjoyed making it, go ahead, please support us if you can. Any subscription, any comment, it all means the world to us. Share it with your friends. That's probably the best thing you could do. Give us a tip if you think we've earned if you like supporting real travel guides trying to help you out at home and I will see you guys in the next video wherever that might be.